looking in the mirror, you say, I love my ears, my my fingers, my toes. Everybody has one. All right. My little two-year-olds, my little three-year-olds and four-year-olds start to get the message at these young ages to have a lighter and whiter skin and to have lighter and blonder hair or for their eyes to be blue. And what else? I want them to know your skin is beautiful. Your hair is perfect. Your eyes are just the way they should be. You have a long and, and glorious ancestry that goes back thousands and thousands of years and didn't just start 600 or 500 years ago. We are not afraid of using the word race. And when you're two, three, four, five, you, we really have to work super hard in order to help explain some of the things that have happened to us. Every month we choose a, a theme and then we go through some aspect of the African or the indigenous experience. We will not mention or talk about Columbus. It's that, that's the kind of thing that's really important to us. What are the different pieces of information that can help them to like get a bigger, broader picture of who they are and who they are in relationship to the world? To have a school like this, it's very hard for people to get on board or to agree that it's okay. Because if people agree that this is okay, then that means there has to be a conversation about why it's okay. Why is it needed? Why do we have something like this, period? Instead of us being able to all be together in the great melting pot of the United States. You know, it's, 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 it's because we are a suffering people. And this is an opportunity for us to offer something to our little ones that says, you know what, this, you're really good. Don't believe those messages because they're not accurate.